Welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for checking out my review. Today I'll review The Witness, one of the first games to showcase that what the PS4 was capable of back in 2013. The game doesn't seem too different from what it was back then, so it's a slight mystery why the game took so long, but Jonathan Blow, the maker of Braid, finally pulled through and released The Witness. I'm playing the PC version. I still don't own a PS4, but for the time being, this is a console exclusive for the PS4. But there are rumors about a possible Xbox One version as well. The Witness is a strictly a puzzle game in an open world setting. You'll be walking around on an island drawing lines on screens. There isn't much more to it than that. What you see is what you get. The graphics are really nice, but it's the same textureless, plain-colored art style I've seen in countless other indie games like Journey and No Man's Sky. And I'm just getting tired of it. But for what it is, it looks breathtaking. There's no narrative, no NPCs, the world is fairly empty and static, and all you do is drawing lines. The puzzles can get quite difficult, and they require you to put yourself in a very special mindset, making it a very unique game at least. The learning curve is alright, but I never feel any sense of accomplishment when finishing a series of puzzles. Often, it only results in opening a door to another room filled with more screens to draw on, or it leads you back to a place you've already been to. While there are some locked doors around the world, for the most part you can explore the entire island right away. There is this big mountain on the island, which at first I thought that would be the place you reach at the end of the game, but no, you can just walk up there right away and there's nothing happening there. Not until you've activated the appropriate screens. I'm just not feeling the progression. Nothing ever happens in this game. It has the puzzles of genius, but they're all related to drawing lines. And the main problem about it is that it's simply not fun. You can stay stuck on some of these puzzles for hours without a clue. The game requires too much patience and it never gives you anything back. Elevators and other moving platforms are extremely slow, as if the game wasn't slow enough. I swear, this one platform took longer to move than the Sora King from Ocarina of Time. The worst part of this game is the walking. When you start moving, you slowly start speeding up. You can stop for a brief moment and then keep running, but if you stay still for too long, you have to start speeding up again. It's like falling into quicksand. Seeing how walking is the only thing you can do in this game, I would have at least expected the walking to be done right, but it's not. Even the camera moves slowly, and you can't change it in the options, at least not on the PC version when using a controller. It was pretty clear to me that this game was built for the touchpad on the PS4 controller, but ironically, I played it just fine using an Xbox One controller and drawing lines using the left stick, and I can't imagine having to put your finger on the touchpad every time you want to draw is any better. So it might sound like I only hate this game, but it's not really the case. The Witness is an acquired taste, and I can only see it appealing to a very small group of people. There is some good stuff here. The puzzles are genius, and it would make for the perfect IQ test on your mobile device. But it just isn't fun to spend so much time on these puzzles when I'm at home dedicating my time in front of a console or a PC game. 
I just don't understand who has the patience to play this. I put in six hours. That felt like an eternity. And no, I, I didn't beat it, but I feel like I have the experience to tell what I thought of it. The fact that IGN gave this a 10 out of 10 is absolutely mind-boggling. I can see that the reviewer in me says that The Witness is very impressive, and Jonathan Blow is genius for coming up with these puzzles. But the gamer in me says that this is simply not fun. The entire game revolves around the wrong type of puzzles. Not the fun type like in Zelda, Portal, or Tomb Raider, where things are based around logic and physics. Instead, it's the bad kind where you have to look for patterns and symbols. Bottom line, I personally didn't enjoy this game too much. But I can sort of see the appeal in it if you have enough time on your hands. I'm sorry for not understanding the art of this game. And I acknowledge that this is simply an opinion. The witness did not appeal to me. But if you have the patience to do these kinds of puzzles and draw lines on a piece of paper as you play, because that's what I had to do, if this looks fun to you, I'd say give it a shot. But wait till it's a little cheaper. All right, this has been Adrian Passion. Thank you again for making it all the way through this review. I have lots more to come. I hope I offended no one. Keep in mind, it's just opinions. It's just gaming. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Adrian underscore Passion. And don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I will return in Goldfinger. Uh, I meant next video.